Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a recipe from my first e-cookbook um, that, um, that I wrote last year, yeah last year, uh, to put in my Etsy shop. I will link everything of course below, but let me talk to you a little bit about the recipe. So this recipe is not original to me. Um, you can go online and you'll be able to see so many different versions of this recipe. It is the old fashioned icebox cake. This is something that my mom made us when we were uh, younger and she even made it up into probably my teens and, and beyond that. But it is one of my favorite, easy, 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 simple, um, desserts that you can make. Um, you can make ahead of time and bring to a family function or party or, you know, you can certainly make it ahead of time. It, it, it tastes so good when you leave it in the refrigerator. Um, as the days go by, it tastes better. So it's very simple. The only things, the only ingredients you will need is chocolate pudding and graham crackers and two cups of whole milk. Um, I've never tried making it with um, soy or oat or almond milk. Um, of course, you know, you can certainly try it, um, but I prefer to use whole milk for this um, particular recipe. Now, I'm gonna swing the camera around. Like I said, it's so easy. We will have it done in two minutes. <laughs> so I have a small bowl, bowl with the chocolate pudding in here and I already measured out the two cups of milk which is what I'm going to mix into the pudding and of course um, I'm going to use my electric hand beater you can use um, a whisk if you have it and just you know keep working it through until it's creamy um, but I prefer to do it this way so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up okay so I'm just going to continue mixing it as you can see it's starting to get thick and that's exactly how we want it I'm just going to mix it a little bit more just want to make sure that all of it is mixed very well okay so I'm going to push this aside what you're going to do is this essentially you're going to be layering the um, graham crackers and then the pudding, graham crackers and the pudding. And let me move this over so you can I see. I have my graham crackers. And let's just um, start layering the bottom. Now, in my recipe book, I believe I, I, I have written on there a nine by 13 casserole dish. I don't think this is quite nine by 13. I actually think it's like nine by nine, but that's okay. Um, you know, we can make a smaller version. Now I wanna see which way I can layer these that they're going to be even the best way. I think I'm going to do it this way and then just add some extra, let's see. I think this will work. Yeah. Okay. And then this one we're going to have to go ahead and maybe not, maybe. I want it to be as the bottom as covered as possible. Yeah, that's the problem with not using, you know, the full, the full dish. Okay, I think that's good. So as you can see, I layered the bottom with the, the graham crackers, and now I'm going to go ahead and get a spoon. And basically, we're going to repeat this pattern until we've used all of the pudding. So now, this is where it gets tricky, but don't worry, we will fix it. <laughs> okay. Once you get down the first layer, it's generally pretty easy after that. Don't worry about filling the entire um, the entire bottom to the edges. 
it will go ahead and fill out as it as it sets. Oh my god, the pudding smells so good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now I need a paper towel. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the next layer of the graham crackers. And like I said, you're just gonna build it up. I don't remember how I did this now. <laughs> okay, yeah. And you can make the layers, as, as many layers as you want to. Um, I'm gonna do it until it's pretty, you know, um, high up. How did I do this? Did I do it this way? Yes, I did, okay. And I think I half did it again. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead. Continue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up this process and then I'll show you what it looks like once all the layers are completed. So that is what it looks like when you're done layering as many layers as you want. Now what I usually do is I take the pieces that I had broken up to fit in the corners and I go ahead and I just crush them. And um, I'm just going to use the bag, the wrapper that it came in. Okay. I crush the, the extra graham crackers and what I'm going to do is just sprinkle them on top of the last layer of the pudding. Some of the pieces are a little bit larger than I what I wanted. <laughs> and you can put as much on top as you want. You don't have to put on any at all. I just like the way it looks. Of course, um, when this is done setting in the refrigerator for a few hours, you can definitely add some whipped cream on top. That's what I think we will be doing tonight. <laughs> okay. It's okay if there's some larger pieces. It's not, you know, no rules. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think that's good. I wrapped it. It's going to go in the refrigerator for about two hours, it could be less, really an hour, um, and then I will slice it up. I'll let you see the inside, what the layers look like with the graham crackers and the pudding, and we'll put some Cool Whip or whipped topping, any kind of toppings, strawberries, um, you could put berries, anything you want on top of it. It tastes so good, and it's a really nice summer treat. Um, I know my mom mostly made it during the summer months, but of course, you can make it in the winter and, you know, again, no rules. <laughs> okay, so I will meet you back here in a few minutes. Okay, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to Sarah um, over at All Beauty by Sarah. She mentioned my YouTube channel last week in one of her videos, and I wanted to thank her. I also want to say, um, because of her mentioning my channel, I have... Um, about 15 new subscribers um, since then. And if you came over here from Sarah's suggestion, I just wanted to say welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and the videos that I already have on my channel. And um, I hope that you stick around. I have a lot coming up. Um, if you are a Disney fan, I do make um, lots of Disney recipes and I do have some coming up over the next few weeks and I also talk about my son's autism. Um, I have a 10 year old uh, son, Michael, and uh, he is nonverbal and I do share a little bit more about his journey in our life. Um, as an autism family. So thank you. I really appreciate you um, subscribing. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my family here. Thank you so much. And let's get back to the recipe. I sliced up a small piece just to show you what it looks like from the inside. 
And you can see the layers of the graham crackers with the chocolate pudding in between. I think this looks delicious <laughs> and I'm ready to eat it now. Let me show you what it looks like when it does come out. I still, I did wrap it back up, uh, but you can see, I just cut out a little piece in the middle there, but you can see where all the layers of the graham crackers and the pudding have set. And of course you can serve this um, like I said, with Cool Whip, um, Cool Whip, you can put strawberries on top of it, um, berries, um, even bananas, because bananas with the chocolate taste good to me. I don't know. Um, but this is it. So this is the old-fashioned icebox cake. Of course, again, you can make it um, even more layers if you wanted to. Um, it's certainly, you know, depending on how big of a dish. But for us, for my family of four, I think this is good. <laughs> um, we don't want to keep too much in the house, but here we go. If you would like to try this recipe, I'm going to have it linked below. Also wanted to let you know that it is from my e-cookbook that is available in my Etsy shop. All summer long, my e-books are going to be at a very reduced um, price and you can get all three cookbooks for six dollars and um, I think there is plenty in there <laughs> for you that you could try at home and they are easy I promise you nothing is complicated um, but for the rest of the summer I am going to be offering them and then the fall we're going to be starting all brand new so I um, hope that you've enjoyed this recipe please let me know if you've ever made made this before or if you're going to try it and um, I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when I post my next uh, video. Could be um, next. I think I have some Disney recipes coming up. I'm not sure. I gotta look and see which ones I'm gonna do first. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week.